is absolutely insane. We have now arrived deep in the Amazon rainforest in Peru. It was not easy to get here. We flew nine hours from Los Angeles to Lima before getting on a smaller plane to take us to a remote area of the country. We flew over cities, snow-capped mountains, and snake-like rivers before arriving at the gateway to the Peruvian Amazon, Puerto Maldonado. We took a bus that dropped us off on the shores of the powerful Madre de Dios River, where we took a boat for over an hour to arrive here, deep in the jungle where we'll be staying for the next four nights. We are rushing to catch the sunset right now and there's no better way to see it here in the Amazon than from the top of the canopy. And it's conveniently connected by these very Indiana Jones-esque bridges. Now that we have been able to see the forest from above in the canopy, it's time to explore the jungle floor. And I'm really excited to see what kind of nocturnal creatures we're gonna be able to find out here. I feel like I feel it everywhere. Ooh, give me the heebie-jeebies. I never thought something so small could freak me out so much. Oh my god. <laughs> that spider, I was just taking a photo really close to it and it just ran away. Henry told me it was on my hat and freaked me out so much. Oh my god. That thing is scary. That's like real deal nightmare type of scary. I'm literally fishing for a tarantula in the middle of the Amazon right now. I got him. I got him. That was freaking insane. Oh my god. I'm literally like dripping sweat right now because that was so freaking crazy. Oh my god. Tonight, I've been using the Oppo Find X5 Pro to test out its nighttime shooting capabilities. To inspire people to better preserve the biodiversity of the planet, Oppo has partnered with National Geographic to capture beautiful images of endangered animals and to support the National Geographic Society and its wildlife conservation efforts as a part of the Endangered Color After Dark campaign. Capturing nocturnal creatures is one of the most challenging adventures for photographers and videographers, but this phone makes it feel so much more accessible. With 4K ultra clear resolution, the 5X Pro restores vivid colors while retaining details at night without overexposure. So make sure to follow Oppo and check out their newest flagship phone, the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Now it's time to head back to the lodge because it's getting late and we have an early morning tomorrow, which may involve piranhas. And good morning from this netted bed. It is about 5.45, 6 a.m. and I'd say my favorite part of waking up in the jungle is definitely the sounds, especially right as the sun rises, all of the birds in the Amazon come come alive and unfortunately I had to wear some earplugs last night because I could literally hear someone snoring from way the heck over here in the lodge since all of these uh, little, little huts we're sleeping in are completely open to the environment. But we are going on an adventure today and about 30 seconds ago it just started raining so that uh, really upped the stakes 
but it's time to go anyway. I don't think I'll ever get used to oh, how fresh and thick the air is here. I guess that's why they call it the, uh, the lungs of the world. They aren't kidding. It's the freshest air I've ever breathed in my life. So the only thing I know about what we're doing today is that it in involves piranha fishing. And that idea is just too much to wrap my brain around until I've had my first cup of coffee. Our vehicle of choice for the day is this longboat. So excited. We've got the first catch of the day here. It's beautiful yellow piranhas. It's got little hidden teeth in there too. Hopefully I have enough to grill up for lunch after this. They're so sparkly, it's crazy. All right, it looks like we have just caught enough for lunch. Okay, so after catching about 10 or 12 fresh piranhas, we are now stopping at a local kitchen here on the side of the lake for lunch. They're gonna be preparing it for us, cooking it up, and uh, I'm curious to see what piranha tastes like. And it's been prepared. We're serving it here on a leaf plate. Apparently there's a lot of bones in this guy. Also, there's a whole ridge of, of like sharp teeth along the outside of it as well. Which is crazy. But I guess we'll just dig, dig straight in the middle. Fresh as it can get. <laughs> Wow. I was worried that it would taste a little bit like um, riv like river water, but it's actually a really fresh taste with some plantains as well. This is great. Approved. <laughs> Successful day. We have just returned to the lodge after an absolutely perfect day. It was so amazing to catch those piranhas and also be able to eat them in a traditional way. And what better way to end the day than with that perfect pink sunset over the Amazon. Feeling extremely grateful to be here and I'm really excited actually because tomorrow we have absolutely no idea what we're doing. So I'll have to just check in when we figure that out and tomorrow I gotta give you guys a tour of this lodge because it's such an amazing place as well. But for tonight, good night. I will catch you in the morning. Good morning. We just took about a 20-30 minute boat ride over to the Tambopata National Reserve where we're now going on a hike to a beautiful lake where we're going to be doing some canoeing. 
And I would say that one of the most interesting aspects of exploring the jungle like this so far has actually just been watching or witnessing our guide, Henry, being able to spot and observe the, the slightest things in the jungle. Seriously, he can see a broken branch and know what animal was just here. Or he'll spot, uh, you know, each plant that is living symbiotically on the trees. Or he'll even be able to hear the sounds that the bullet ants make. It's just unbelievable to see someone who's so in tune with the natural environment around him i feel like that's actually really unique for you know this like day and age so being around someone who has so much knowledge of the jungle is amazing he's definitely been like the highlight <laughs> of our trip you could spend weeks and months and years here and still not learn everything but it's an amazing place to be so oh. On with the adventure. So we have just arrived into the wetlands. Apparently you can find anaconda and uh, the caimans, which are like the alligator crocodile looking guys, uh, all around here, which this is a very small, very low to the water boat <laughs> to be <laughs> so close to those guys, but We've got our trusty driver, Henry, in the back, and this looks straight out of like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney World or something. It's like, so like, green and untouched. It looks like we're in a movie right now, which is amazing. It's starting to rain a little bit, thus the rainforest, but definitely worth a trip out here. We are officially out on the lake and this place is so quiet. We're literally the only people out here and the rain is just starting to come down, but you can hear it's almost like a reflection or you can hear the sound of all of the raindrops hitting the water and this place is just so peaceful. We're still on the lookout for any kind of animal or uh, reptiles we can see, but wow, I'm so glad we, we got out of bed early and made it here today, but we're probably gonna get pretty wet. not at all in any way expecting this to happen which I guess is my fault because when you're in the rainforest eventually it's gonna rain uh, I'm definitely regretting our decision to not bring ponchos but you know what this is my favorite type of adventure when things unexpected happen you get out into the middle of nowhere somewhere you've never been before and you have a completely unique experience like getting completely soaking wet in the middle of the jungle. Wow. I gotta put my camera away because I'm actually genuinely afraid that this is gonna ruin it. Wow, just finally recovered from that crazy rainstorm with a nice hot shower and warm meal. And as promised, I wanna give you a room tour of our adorable cabin. There are probably about 30 of these cabins. They have a little genius locking system. And welcome to our crib. This door actually has a pretty genius uh, pulley system to make sure that you close the door since, as you can imagine, the bugs are a bit of an issue in the jungle. And this has got to be my favorite part of the whole room. Whenever we're not adventuring, I'm swinging here on this hammock and these angelic nets. <laughs> are for the mosquitoes at night and as you can see there are not any lights in here there's very limited electricity thankfully there is this ceiling fan which barely works but it gets pretty hot here at night so oh and we also have some storage for the luggage and back here 
when there is electricity on, we have a little charging station, very messy. But back here is the bathroom area. There's actually no electricity right now. But in the bathroom, there is this adorable little lantern. <laughs> so you're not just going completely in the dark. Over here, we've got a shower, which is again, open to nature. And that is basically our entire little home here in the jungle. And believe it or not, this place actually gets even more magical at night. Wow, what an amazing adventure through the Amazon this has been. I would say that the beauty of the Amazon rainforest really comes out in the slow moments. Those times when you're drifting down the winding rivers, listening to the sounds of the cicada, uh, breathing in the fresh air, and being able to witness how much the jungle comes alive at night when you really know how to look for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, don't forget to subscribe to see more adventures from this Peru series as well as around the world. And if you want more travel tips for how to be able to have experiences like this one for yourself, don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter at LexiLimitless.com newsletter. And until next time, let's push our limits.